Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Oh, damn. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Right then, episode three. Episode three. Let's go. Let's go, Telltale. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. I hope in this episode we can rebuild the relationship with Kenny. I didn't want that relationship to go south, and it kind of did in the last episode, so hopefully we you can made up uh, your mind yet? build bridges. About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's <laughs> dug in. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. You okay? The ladder's come loose. <clears throat> I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. <laughs> right. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. <laughs> Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. So, I don't quite understand why... There we go. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right.
Yeah, yeah. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? That wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Shit! Well done, Kenny. What the hell happened? Thought you said you could handle it. Have you ever been shot before? I'm sorry. For Christ. You think you'd... Screaming. Oh God. Oh God. What, the, what the hell is that? A walker? It's a wailing bunch. They don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Oh, yeah. Now she's dead. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you need? I need. We leave her alive, and she draws them all to her. Buy us true. time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. That's very true. Let's leave her there. Still screaming. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. She's gone. There's not much time now. I think that's everything. Nice. That girl didn't die for nothing. Yep. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Where's Kenny? Didn't you? 
Hmm. Still a bit of a love-hate relationship. It doesn't look like Kenny's going to be uh, too quick to forgive. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. <laughs> so, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? Hell yeah. We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. <laughs> Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable when We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people. Not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Oh God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? <laughs> I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! <laughs> Damn. She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee. You've picked your sides. Ken, that's not fair. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Well, yeah. this repairing the uh, relationship yeah, isn't going well, is it? <laughs> yeah, but I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Right then. Let's go and chat to some people. Come on, Kenny. Hey, you two. Behave yourself. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You 
you need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Hmm. <laughs> you guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Did you ever come down here to Macon much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. Yeah, I wish you'd have died instead of the other girl, too. Hmm. That's very harsh. I think he's always said been that. a bit of an elusive thing for me. I, I guess he's good the for the technology. As opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. What do you think about Lily? Dark. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug. I'll catch you later, Bill and Ben. Um, right. So I don't think there's anything else this way. What's down here? Nothing. Nothing. Right, so where is Clem? No, no, no. I've already spoken Hi to them. Hi, Lee. Okay. Right, where's Clem? It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? 
Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? <laughs> I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. I kind of feel like it's her. I kind of feel like she's going crazy, but I don't really want to jump out and say that straight away. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. <laughs> can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. <laughs> did you hear what I just said? I won't tell us so. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. Right, let's take the flashlight to Doug. He likes fixing things. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell Ooh, you... Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. <laughs> I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no. No, I don't. I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. Where's Clem? There's some broken glass on the ground there. Mm. Hmm. There's something drawn there. think it is I thought I told you you couldn't help I'm curious you don't say maybe it's a sign it could be it's pink chalk which is weird okay back to investigating Where is she? She's not over here. So, she's got to be by the fence then. Right? On the other side. Kidding me. Where the hell is she? Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. 
Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. It was in Duck's pocket, wasn't it? The little Sid-looking bastard. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Oh. The signal made it look like I was going to push it closed after I'd gone out. Right. Let's investigate. Those bandits gave us hell. They've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. <clears throat> That's a great grate. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, Got our people out there! Out oh we no. Fucking around. What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. God damn. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. Hmm. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro. Christ! Nice. Oh, Nicely done, Lily. <gasps> Damn. Right in the ass. Uh oh. Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Pull around, shit, for brains! He's back there! Have that. Gotcha. Hurry, come on! 
Cliff. Get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Oh no. Oh Christ! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Lee, walk her! Shit! Kenny, hurry up with that thing! Right side, walkers on the right! Are you kidding me? The right bells! Oh, oh, come on. I don't know where he came from. Walker. Shit. Kenny, hurry up with that thing! Left, left side! Watch the right! Onion. Please, Walker. Well, wow. Kenny, hurry up with that thing. Right then. Watch the right. Lead left. Get down here! Shit! Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Shut up, Ben. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. Nobody died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Ben. I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Lily, come on. You guys are like my family. Finn's a good guy. Totally. Well, then who? Being a good guy is enough to clear your name on I this? I didn't do it. Really honest. I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. You have evidence? No, not here, but Lee found the meds. We found an entire signaling system. Doug's right. Let's just get on down the road. We can talk this out like adults. Why give someone who almost killed us the opportunity? Lee, you know what we found. Just let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go. Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, I didn't. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We you gotta looked stop. a little guilty then, Ben. Well, we can deal with this now, then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. <laughs> Everyone keep your eyes peeled. 
You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm really sorry you're upset, Ben. Just tell us you did it. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. Ben, you have no other options here. Leave him alone. <laughs> I think you Excuse both me. are protesting a bit much. Don't you think so, Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just you think any of that? Damn. Lily's a bit of a loose cannon. Drop it. Oh, Sorry, Doug. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you? He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. <clears throat> Is that true, Lee? Yes. Fucking hell. <laughs> Were you ever gonna get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. I don't have any. I don't wanna hear left. it from either of you. Just get in. Wow. Poor Doug. Sorry, Doug. Lee, a word, please? We need to speak to you up here. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? Oh no. He's been bit. What the fuck? Happened during the raid. What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. I feel like I should tell everybody. Right? It's only fair. Duck is bitten. Huh? 
He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Doug? Oh it's shit! Time for a burial. That was quick. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. Right, concentrate on the story at hand instead of looking at my phone. I'm glad I have you. Me too. I heard you outside my tree house that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. <laughs> what? Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away. The door was open. He was dumb. <laughs> Oh. What happened? Holy shit! Get off of me! <laughs> Damn, I forgot about that. Up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we gotta deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't <laughs> want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. <laughs> Stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, <laughs> hon. Be careful in there. A bit dehydrated? Well, he's gonna you think die. There might be something dangerous inside and then he's gonna of chew your face off. I didn't cross my mind. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. No. There's stuff in there that I wanted to see. map of 
where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. I'll take this to Kanja for Doc. in the chair. We got him. He's dead. <sighs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. Don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. <laughs> it's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Okay, fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Hey, Ken. What's up? Hope it's all right I chose to keep Lily with us. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Turning over a new leaf, huh? I'm <laughs> just doing what I can. It's fine for now, but we have to deal with it eventually. You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys. We can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. <laughs> as if as if he wouldn't have already seen that shit this is it man oh shit they've torn the pages off Ew. right so where's the ripped off page it's got to be somewhere i have no idea what to do with these It's got to be in one of these cupboards then, hasn't it? 
Nope. Alright, we're on the back end of the trailer. Ah, wait. Shit. Broke it. There's gotta be a better way to do this. There is. Big wrench. It's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free. If I can break it loose first. Need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Hmm. In that case. So I need a different tool then, apparently. I don't know if that's going to work either. This rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. There's got to be a better way to do this. Derailed. Right, so I don't think it's going to be any of them tools, so I'm going to have to. I don't even know. That's one hell of a mess. found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. That's helpful, Ben. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. Hey, Clem. 
What are you going to do with Lily? I'm going to beat the shit out of her. Punish her somehow. She did a terrible thing. She killed him. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Hmm. So... I'm a bit stumped. Oh, you div. Get back in there. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? Can I not? What's a pencil going to do? I'm leaving. Stop you. No, you're not. I'm not going to hurt you. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. Come on, Lily. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. It'll be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. <laughs> She's stealing the RV! <laughs> Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! Nope, Kenny's gonna be fuming at me again now. Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Duck's done, my friend. That's one hell of a mess. Right. I need to figure out how to release that tr car. I kind of think we have to maybe at least move the train forward a little bit to shunt it. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before yeah. we can pry anything free. So we need to move the train. That's what we need to do. Maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. 
<laughs> Sounds good. Engine start up. Six five nine nine. Hey, Ken. What's up? I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing started. Uh, I don't know, it's a long shot. I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? All right then. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Right, so it's, up. it's this anyway. Let's look at the paper again. Six. So we need... Down, down, up, 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 down, up. Down, down, up, 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 down, up. Son of yeah, a Yeah, boy. Whatever you did, let the dash up. So far, so good. Um, right. Five is horizontal and vertical. Now we're talking. What else? Nine is horizontal. Oh, one left, one right. Where's nine now? No, it's got to be in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine there. Nothing about the train. Hey, Kim. What's up? I'll get back to it. Me too. Doesn't look like Kenny's doing much of anything, to be honest. Hey, Kim. So one that way. One that way. Holy shit. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we are golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mum, let's see if she'll move. All yours. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? And get us unstuck? Yes, yeah. sir. Well, Lily left too early. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Imagine he just pisses off now. Fuck you guys, see ya. <laughs> you touch any of my stuff? Oh, no. I took 
the map of the trade routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. <laughs> I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him, too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. <laughs> Plain folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Sorry, your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. I don't think so. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's <laughs> a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Damn. Calm down, Kenny. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll smash his brains in. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Was his eye open then? It looked like his eye was open. Three adults taking care of three kids. Looked like he was asleep like that and then just like. There were more of us. Dad, get him. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Leave. 
Finally, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Stop the train. Duck's just about gone back there, man. Don't feed me that bullshit. He'll be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect, not that fucking sham you're running back there! I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here! Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? <laughs> I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. And talk. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're oh my god. Or what? I'm gonna knock you on your ass, boy. Where's the. How can I show him the. I want to show him the rug. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! Damn. You and Duck doesn't need you. <clears throat> Wasn't quick enough. You don't even have a child. You don't know what this is like. You fucker. <laughs> You're not helping my family. You're not helping Clementine. You're not helping anybody. <clears throat> I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Shit. I fucking hate you, Lee. Do you hear me? I... I don't know what to do. I stopped the train. What an asshole. I wanted to rebuild the relationship, but it looks like it's uh <laughs> it's going south, man. It's going to hell in a handbasket pretty quickly. Always been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. 
I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I could do this. Kaja should do it, Cam. She could handle it. Shut up, Lee. <laughs> He's right. No, honey. Stay with me. Your son loves you. And you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. Duck is dying. I know. What is Katya doing? She's putting him out of his misery. Things are... No. God! It had to be done. Okay. There was no other choice. Okay. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Couldn't do it. Cat, cat, gotcha. Why, cat, honey? Oh, fucking god. <laughs> She could. She, 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 oh, 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 fuck! Dad, you gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man.
It's a rough episode, man. Oi. you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What? She's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past... Go 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Kenny ended up shooting his son out there. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. <laughs> Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. You're homeless, then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. <laughs> Darn. Be safe up here. <laughs> you betcha. to get to the water. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Hey. Yeah? Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Care. It's the best plan. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone?
Hey, Ben. Hey. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. See you. Yeah. explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. to the left. Okay, a little higher. Close. Now keep it steady. Aim a little higher. No. Nope. Bit to the right. Aim lower. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. to the right. Okay, a little higher. There you go. Nice. First time this time, Clem. Yeah. I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. 
We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to it. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it, and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. do this? Nope. Nope. No idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> but think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. I hope we're not on this train much longer. the whiskey. <laughs> Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah, you mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. I'll hmm. talk to you later, Kenny. Not sure how I'm going to get him out of the seat, but we'll figure it out. But I'm going to take a quick break. I shall be back shortly. So, I need to get, I need to get, um, Kenny away from the chair. Potentially, if I speak to <clears throat> this chappy. I found this if you want it. Damn, didn't realise I had it left. Thank you. One nip. No, I'm fine. 
Suit yourself. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. That's the one. Kenny's definitely going to want to share a drink. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. That's that then. Um, Thanks. There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. Right then. Let's go and find Clem. It was me. Huh? What? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Oh, shit. It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Wow. You still want to talk to me? I want to fucking kill you, mate. Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? See you. Yeah. Should have just thrown him over the railings. Little douchebag. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. <clears throat> he said he could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're going to want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... tell my parents? You know... feel good better i'm glad we have a plan and you're a good little chef thanks i guess we should see how far oh shit hold on everybody
Come down, Kenny. Maybe we could walk. That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm mean, <laughs> just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. A thing that's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Yes, looks like Kenny's got my back now, finally. So that's good. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone first day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? We just met Chuck, but he seems like an alright guy. You always have to worry about new people. I used to love meeting new people. That must have been a long time ago. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like... We're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. How do you know you didn't even Folks open it? probably had that way with that van a while ago. Yeah, garbage. That's about the only useful thing in here. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it, no nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Nothing this end. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? All right. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. <laughs> 
Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, kid? It's Come on, Kenny, cheer up, buddy. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Survivors inside, something tells me that they're not survivors anymore. Everton and Schultz. Everton? Daubeny, find silver. Macabre imports. Ray brand oil parts. <coughs> right. Let's see if we can get inside then, huh? Trespassers won't be shit. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Boot it. <clears throat> mm, won't burn. Hmm. I'm gone. What's that, though? No, nothing. We'll have to find a way in. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Well, I mean, we could try. We just give up so easily. What about the window? Yep. Yeah. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the taker out there. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. They didn't have much business back then. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch.
There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. Hmm. Right then. Locked up good. You Come on then, climb. Going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab him and let's get this gate open. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Uh-oh. Behind you! Fuck. Oh shit! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Uh oh. Keys down. Oh, fuck, it's still locked. Oh, you dick. That was close, man. Damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yep. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna well, go we make did. sure the noise didn't so cause us any problems. So, suck it! We handled it. Get I out. you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Hell yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Is there anything else in here that I can take? No. Wait, what's going on? Why hasn't he got the cutter? I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Where is he? Oh, just pulls it out of his back pocket. I don't have a lighter, man. Cool, so a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. <laughs> Better plug that leak with something. Hope there's holes. The 
That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Uh-oh. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Really? Really? Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? <laughs> Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Oh, shit! Guys! There's something coming! What the what? Something. Thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Oh, me! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Uh oh. Kimmy, oh, that go! Was cool. Shit! What the Jump hell onto the train. Now? This way, this way. We gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Come on! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Pull him. Ah! Oh no. Shit! Oh, come Fuck! on. She was running fast enough. You piece of shit. She's a woman. Don't you know? Shut up, Omid. She can make it. Baby. It's okay, honey. I'm okay. <sighs> Need to shoot the gasoline. That was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clement. It's okay. We'll cut it off We're in a fine. minute. Shoot the gasoline. Why did nobody shoot the gasoline? Could have killed all them walkers. Nice picture. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. 
and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Holy shit! What? I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Uh oh. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Dun dun dun. That's the end of episode three. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Claire. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. I'll kill him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You <laughs> understand? I will kill you! Mm. Fifty-nine percent of players did not shoot the girl in the street. Made the right choice. Fifty-four percent of players did not leave her. Did I? Did I abandon Lily? No, I didn't. You and fifty-four percent of players fought Kenny. I kind of didn't want to do that, but I was pushed pushed into it. I suppose he started it. Um, heavy burden. Did you shoot Duck? You and 18% of players did not shoot him. Wait, so most people did? Did you help Omid? You and 60% of players helped Omid. Well, the reason I did that, I, I mean, I know you're supposed to save the women first, but he was injured. She was running very, very easily. And as we both, as we all saw, she made it onto the truck too, so everyone lived. Everyone lived in this episode. Nobody died, apart from uh, what's his face, Doug. Um, and that's it for episode three. Stick around, follow, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in part four.